Challenged by Wright, is a little short. Thomas is going to put pressure on Alou. And look! Samuel pulled down. Samuel shot. Oh, whistle past the post. It's the first shot of the game for Ipswich. It comes after 30 minutes. And it's Dominic Samuel. His shirt is literally ripped off his chest. Now, the referee has got to do something about this. I mean, he's got the evidence there, the referee, certainly. Whatever's gone on before, I think as he's as the defender Alou has fallen, he's he's reached out and grabbed. Domi, but, but, he's had a fairly quiet game so far. Stead looking to pick up the ball, but Corden is there. Right. Oh, that's a good ball to Chapman. Chapman on the right wing. He's in space. Clouds are getting back for Barnett. Thomas is in the middle. Here's Thomas. Oh! The header wide of the mark when Thomas could have planted it in the back of the net. But a great ball forward by Ebsleet to Chapman. Chapman swung it in, and Thomas could have put it in the net. 40 minutes gone, it's still Ebsleet nil, Barnett nil. Yeah, Clifford. Clifford getting some uh, friendly booing from the crowd. Well, you well, know it's him when he gets the ball, certainly. Very popular player here. Oh, and Steady's in, Steady's in, Steady's gone! Stead with the breakthrough, 42 minutes, and Stead puts Barnett in front. Well, you have to say that their midfield has been buzzing around looking for those openings, and it's that man Clifford against his old side yeah. providing it for Stead. It's a great late run, isn't it, by the attacking midfielder in there, and actually it's a really good finish, bottom left-hand corner as well. They've just picked the lot just once uh, in this first half since that opening for Cabamba earlier on, but Stead made absolutely no mistake. We've been picking him out, Chaz, haven't we, as a, a fiery Hayes. customer. Hayes. Launches another ball downfield. Stead's the man underneath it, inevitably. Clifford helps it on. Coker on the left-hand side. Stead near post. Stead. Oh, that was a whisker past the post. Kenlock to Coker, to Kenlock. And Cabamba coming back to challenge right. Tavares. Oh, that's a good ball for Stead. This time he's definitely onside. Stead is going to bear down on Cousins. Stead in the area, takes it back onto his left foot. And it's in the net, it's 2-0, Stead again! Yeah, it's a great run down the right-hand side. He's beaten the defender by checking back on his left, just on the edge of the six-yard box. He's fired it towards the near post. Cousins have got something on it, but the, the power of the shot has meant that Cousins can't keep the ball out of the net. The ball's gone in at the near post, and Stead, he's been outstanding, Jazz, hasn't he? And, and Ebsley trying to push forward in here. Has the referee been called by the fourth official? Well, a I think he has. Wanna... I think he has. Luke O'Neill is saying what's going on. The referee is heading towards the touchline. The fourth official we could see is talking into his uh, into his uh, intercom with the referee. Referee, Mr. Copeland comes over. I think this may be a, a result of the arm across Chapman's face. And or he's calling one of the it's one of the absolute staff. Simon Bassey. Been sent from the dugout. Red and away. And, uh, a bit of a 1 0 win at Woking. Here's Chapman. Decent cross. Ch Samuel is pushed. It's got to be a penalty. It is indeed. The referee's given it. The arm comes out. Could it? Could it? No, don't laugh. I, I'm just saying, I, I, you know. You, you give yourself an opportunity, you get a goal here, and suddenly why push? everything changes. Why push him? That was the most ludicrous foul. And it was quite obvious from where we were sitting as well. Very obvious the referee was a lot closer, Jazz. And um, who's won the. Uh... Oh, it's Polian, of course. Sorry, what am I talking about? It's all O'Neill on another player, and it's Dominic Polian. Well, deep in injury time. Penalty to Ebsfleet. Polian takes his run up. Polly shoots, he scores his second goal of the season. It's Ebsleet one, Barnett two, Polly with a penalty. Good intelligent game management by Barnett. There is the referee's whistle, Stephen Copeland 
cause an end to proceedings and Barnett win this one with goals in each half. The first one from Stead on 42 minutes and then he scored again for the Bees on 69 minutes to give them a two goal lead. And it was a consolation goal for Dominic Pullian uh, right in time added on just as it was last week for him at Gateshead last week when the fleet lost 5-1.